Hi, this is Mark from LongOutWatch.com, and today we're getting into the Formex Essence. The Essence just landed um, about a day or two ago in the store. Uh, I did a video on Formex, oh, four weeks ago, six weeks ago or something, asking you guys what you thought about it. There was a lot of positive comments. It is a higher-end watch, not necessarily a higher-end price. I uh, I did decide to get the Essence in basically in every color, uh, bracelet and uh a bracelet version or a strap version were available uh, and I did opt only to get the chronometer grade versions uh, so every watch you're going to see today is a let me move that away a certified COSC chronometer not a chronograph a chronometer I did a video on COSC testing it was a watch and learn did it probably about uh, probably more than a year ago a year or two ago COSC testing involves taking the movement, uh, uncased, sending it to a facility, of which there are, I believe, a couple in Europe, and they test the movement under different positions and different temperatures. And every watch, every Formex, that's COSC chronometer, will come with a COSC certificate. And it actually gives you the mean, the variations, the results. You can see how fast or slow the watch actually tested. Uh, more or less, you're looking at plus six, minus four is COSC requirements. I mean, I just pulled this <laughs> cert out at random. Look at those numbers. Uh, this thing is running like a top. Amazing. So uh, you kind of put your money where your mouth is. Uh, speaking of money, on the bracelet, they're 1265. On the leather, uh, they're 1160. I'm loving the bracelet. It's amazing. It's made so well. Let's let's get into the watch. Um, I will actually start with the black dial, and I'll show you the other two. Um, it is a 43 millimeter case. It's 10 thick. It's 49 on the tip to tip. So it wears very well. You can see it's very squat, right? The lugs are uh, lugs are designed very nicely. 22 millimeter on the lug. Uh, the bracelet, before we get into it in too much detail, does have quick release pinned underneath, so you don't need a tool. You can do it with your fingers. Anti-reflective sapphire top, anti-reflective sapphire bottom. Water resistance, 100 meters. Uh, it is a um, Salita SW200 chronometer grade. So like Etta, Salita's got grades. This is their highest end movement. You'll see thermally blued screws. You'll see a beautiful uh, custom cut rotor, a whole bunch of stuff. So, you know, the, um, the chronometer grade upgrades, you know, basically focus around the balance uh, and the escapement, uh, different materials, different uh, geometry. Uh, let's see. I said 100 meters of water resistance, has a three-year warranty, and it's just beautiful. I first want to coming on the dial so the dial is all the dials are really nice they're actually um they're actually cut uh those lines are cut with cnc machining so it's not a stamped dial it done very well look at the alignment the markers everything is darn near perfect you'll see loom we'll do a loom shot momentarily i do want to show you if you recall the movement is actually, or the, I should say the head of the watch, the case of the watch, actually floats inside. I guess it's almost like a two-piece case. It's like a little suspension. What does that get you? Well, when you're wearing it, if you bend your wrist and your wrist, you know, sometimes your watch gets tight uh, when you bend your wrist, it just gives a little bit to give you extra comfort. Uh, it's really cool technology. Uh, I can't say it's any tech that you know, I really, I've really seen. Uh, bracelets held together with screws. It does come with a tool to adjust it. Beautiful push button clasp, friction on the other side. And while we have it open, I guess we'll come in tight on the movement. It's got the actual, I guess that's a serial number for, for uh, COSC's certificates, but you can see the beautiful movement, the writing around the back. Just look at everything. Look how nicely it's machined. Really is the fit and finish. I, you know, I guess for a thousand dollar watch, it's got the fit and finish that you expect, but I would say it's fit and finish, you know, over and above the price range that we are looking at. Uh, let's see. So I went over the bracelet. I went over the suspension. Uh, just looks gorgeous. Um, 
I will show you the silver dial. There's also a brown dial, which I didn't bring to the party. The silver dial looks super nice. Look at that brush top, how it, oh my goodness. It's not polished, but yet it picks up the light. It looks so nice. The crystal disappears. The fastening on the markers and the hands. Really do a nice job. Excellent. Really looks beautiful. Totally beautiful. Oh, I guess I should say, obviously, in case you didn't know, hand winds, hacks, seconds hand stops, and pull the crowns at the time. And then, of course, I did want to show you the blue dial, but the blue dial is on leather. So it has the same case suspension as you saw before. Beautiful blue, though, oh, with all the fastening. Oh, it's totally beautiful. Uh, but the leather strap has this awesome feature. So to, to leather strap deployant, okay, we've seen those before. But now if we look at the clasp, first of all, you'll see it's machine carbon fiber, which is just ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> expensive, but makes it very light. I mean, lightweight like you wouldn't believe. Uh, you know, much lighter than a steel um, deployant clasp would be, much more comfortable, and also, uh, not as um, cold against your wrist, but over here is where the magic happens. If you push these two buttons in, you get a little micro adjustment in the leather strap. So really nice to be able to have that ability. If you're between holes, you know, you can kind of move it just a little bit tighter, a little bit looser. The winter's coming, the winter's leaving. Um, right now the winter's coming over here. Very sad, but that's it. So Alexa, 1160 on the strap, 1265 on the bracelet. I'll do a loom shot, try them on, be done. I'm trying to keep the uh, extra light out. Uh, it's not too, not too easy, but you can see it glows very well. Um, I'm actually looking off camera at the, the white one too. They're all beautiful. You know, it's classic. It's a sports watch uh, during the day. It's a dress watch at night. Uh, it kind of, you know, plays a lot of different parts, and I think it plays them extremely well. I love the way the... And now I'm going to talk about the light, the facets uh, of the, the watch and the hands pick up the light. Beautiful. So there she is on my six and three quarter inch wrist, above, below. Perfect size for me. 43 millimeter case. You may say sounds big, but 49 on the tip to tip. Great. Thin, 10 millimeters. Super comfortable. I will try on the, um, the bracelet one next just so you can check it out. But oh, you can see, obviously, this will go with a much larger wrist and also... A much smaller wrist if you would like so the black for me you know it gets I think it gets my vote um, well the blue on bracelet probably gets my vote but then the black looks great below the bone above the bone awesome the black just picks up again those reflections and the way th the way the whole watch works look at the bracelet look how nice it is uh, I haven't touched the bracelet sizing wise so you can see how much six and three quarter inch wrist it looks like you have at least one two three four five six at least another inch and a half to go so I would dare to say you know maybe an eight inch wrist or so a little bit under that but anyway uh, looks amazing this has been Mark from LoyalWatch.com showing you the Formex Essence Swiss Automatic Chronometer please like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you have not done so if you have any questions or comments put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can thank you for watching bye bye